Tony Ferguson or Michael Chiesa? See who fighters are picking in the latest edition of MMA Pro's Pick. Uh, Chiesa. Chiesa's a beast, bro. He's not really that great with the striking, but uh, as soon as he gets a hold of you, it's hard to get him off. Uh, he's a tall guy, and I don't think Tony has it in him to, to weather the, 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 the grappling storm that Michael Chiesa's about to. Plus, Chiesa has great footwork. He's gonna be hard to hit. Tony's not very technical. He's got the weird style, and um, you know, Kess is just too big. I think that Kess is gonna take him down, submit him. Hi, Kess. <laughs> uh, Kess, just the youth. Michael Kiesa. Um, that one I'm I'm hoping that Kiesa is able to like pull it out and get the job done and just kind of um end on the high note, so to speak. So, uh, just for like the fan in me, I'm definitely rooting for uh. Uh, Tony Ferguson in that fight. But does he get it done, or do you think Kiesa gets it done? Unfortunately, Kiesa might beat him. <laughs> but I like Kiesa more. Once again, he's a great guy. I ran into him in the PI, trained with the Mass Syndicate as well, some of my last camp. He's an awesome dude, and uh, I stand behind Kiesa on that. Not only is he a great dude, he's a great fighter, and I see him uh, putting Tony away for sure. Yeah, um, you know, Ferguson's another guy that's taken some damage and had his losses as of late. And I think, uh, you know, Kiesa has had some losses as well, but he's in a little bit more of a prime of his career. And I think his ability to, you know, take you down and, and win by points and position is going to be there in this fight if he wants it. Uh, he's the bigger guy as well. So I'm going to go with Kiesa. I uh, got to go with Kiesa. You know, Tony Ferguson's on, been on a, a loser streak and... Ah oh, man, kind of want him, to, kind of want him to be done, but you know that's not my place to say. So we'll see. Kiesa, Kiesa, maybe I don't know. That's a, I don't know. Ferguson, like everybody, like he, you know, he is on the losing streak, whatever, and it's like it's kind of embarrassing, whatever. But he's fought some tough ass dudes. Kiesa has kind of bitched out a few times on questionable, you know, opponents, and you know, I, I think uh, I think Ferguson wins. Oh man, unfortunately, uh, I, I, I'm a big Tony Ferguson fan, man. I have been for a long time, you know, El Kukui, he's, he's the freaking loco, uh, boogeyman. He's, he was the boogeyman of the division for the longest time. And, uh, but man, unfortunately, I just, uh, I think that he is overstaying his welcome. And I hate to see people do that, man, because he's like, he's just, he's done so much with the sport. He has nothing to prove. And unfortunately I think he's, uh, tarnishing his name a little bit you know with these with this rattling off a bunch of losses um i hope that he comes back and fights amazing uh but i really see michael chiesa getting that one done i would imagine michael chiesa is going to be able to get him to the ground i, I think tony ferguson tony ferguson's probably going to be a little bit wild step in deep on some uh, on some shots and leave himself planted in the ground for michael chiesa to level change Kiesa gets him to the ground. Tony Ferguson probably tries to give his back to, to get up, and uh, Kiesa chokes him out. I'm gonna go with Kiesa. Oh, I love Tony Ferguson. Tony Ferguson. I'm going with Kiesa 100%, not just because of the uh, the, the favoritism I have towards him. Um, I definitely, I like Tony Ferguson. I, I'm a fan, as I know he has many, but um, I think that we've seen his past few fights that he's kind of on his way out. Uh, I think Michael Chiesa gets that one.